Hi. Well, there it is. Only a couple of weeks ago, we got an insight into how much revenue Xbox Game Pass generated, which spurred on many commentators, including myself, to glean from the figures that Xbox was profitable or at the very least sustainable well now all that rampant speculation about xbox game pass and its sustainability can come to an end hallelujah why because speaking at the wall street journal's tech live conference xbox head phil spencer has confirmed explicitly that xbox game pass is profitable it generates around 10 to 15 percent gaming revenue for xbox well that's all for now. See you, folks. <laughs> no, I kid. There's actually quite a bit to discuss here, as well as some impending bad news. But before that, it's interesting to note that Phil Spencer quite candidly confirmed that the growth of Xbox Game Pass subscriptions on consoles has slowed down. Stating that at some point, you've reached everybody on consoles that wants to subscribe. Hmm, that's quite interesting because I would have thought Xbox were aiming for around the 30 to 40 million player mark to be comfortable. Well, they are profitable already. However, it seems that it's on PC where the growth is still taking place. Microsoft recently confirmed that PC Game Pass subscriptions saw a growth of 159% year over year. Now, we don't know what that base figure is, but I also imagine that the growth will continue considerably once Riot Games' suite releases on PC Game Pass. I also expect the Game Pass subscribers on consoles to spike as soon as the Activision Blizzard King deal goes through, if it does go through, which it will go through, it better go through. So, uh, this year saw no AAA first party titles in what will surely be Xbox's weakest year of this generation, hopefully. I also think we are starting to see cloud gaming being taken more seriously. Don't believe me? Well, Microsoft have confirmed that over 20 million people have streamed games on Xbox Cloud, which is up from 10 million just earlier this year. That is massive. And as the technology continues to improve, and with Microsoft also investing in its own mobile storefront, as rumors suggest, this will all add to the growth of Xbox Game Pass. Now, for the bad news. Owing to the rising energy costs in Europe that led to an increase in the provision of cloud services, these costs are eating away at potential profits, so say Microsoft. Phil Spencer has said the following. For us running the business, we have to look at the return on our business, the cost of our business. We've held price on consoles and held price on games and our subscription. I don't think we'll be able to do that forever. Shame on you, Phil. Phil Spencer said, I do think that at some point we'll have to raise some prices on certain things. But going into this holiday, we thought it was really important to maintain the prices that we have because consumers right now are more uncertain than they have been in a long time. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. What a load of fluff. The prices are probably not going up this holiday season, not because it's the right thing to do during these uncertain times, but because the holiday season is very important. It's highly competitive and raising prices right now would be bad timing, particularly when Xbox will be intent on plugging the gap between its Xbox series consoles and the PlayStation 5, which is now seeing a lot more sales as its stocks replenishes despite its very recent price hike. Phil Spencer also didn't clarify whether it's the price of the consoles, the games, or the subscription service that will go up. If I'm going to make somewhat of an educated guess, I reckon the price of games will go up to 70 pounds or dollars, and the subscription cost of Game Pass will increase, especially if the ABK deal goes through and Call of Duty joins the service. In my opinion, if you're able to stock up on Xbox Game Pass subscriptions now, I would top that up. I'll be quite surprised if Xbox do choose to increase the price of their console though, but who knows? Well, Xbox Game Pass has proven the naysayers is wrong. This is a pretty big deal. Many pundits have been espousing how Xbox Game Pass profitability is a very long-term play and that Xbox is sustaining heavy losses to maintain it. But remarkably, in a relatively short space of time, Xbox has surprised many, including me. I still think it's early days for the growth of Xbox Game Pass. 
and that the mass market penetration <laughs> uh, isn't quite there yet. If Xbox can reap the rewards of the ABK deal with Call of Duty on Game Pass, combined with its strides made in Japan, which has seen a strong focus on handheld gaming, and the general growth of cloud and mobile gaming, we could really see Xbox Game Pass become even more lucrative for the company. But what does this mean for us consumers? Well, other than the overtly negative and unwelcome but impending price hike, as far as Xbox Game Pass profitability and how that assists us gamers is concerned, a narrative has been pushed by many that this subscription service heavily relies on games as a service or multiplayer games to help Microsoft desperately claw back any revenue lost for the cost of getting games into the service. However, with this news, you can see that Microsoft can continue to deliver single player games. Recently, we've already seen the likes of Persona and A Plague Tale Requiem, among others, join the service. The right is already there and the service is already profitable. Yes, when bigger single player games like Starfield or Hellblade 2 join the service, they will eat into those profits. However, we are talking profits and not sheer capital constantly being bled away to maintain the service. This is very significant in my opinion and changes the narrative considerably unless you still for whatever reason think that xbox game pass is a loss maker but what do you think of all this are you surprised what do you think this means for gaming do you think playstation is worried about today's announcement like i do should it be let me know in the comment section below and as always smash that like button if you enjoyed the video it helps us out a lot and thank you for watching